Welcome back to the mix, y'all. For the R&B, y'all. Ashanti! <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing right. I'm good. There we are so We are so excited to have you on the show, Ashanti, right after the iconic versus battle. Let me just say, you killed it. You killed it hands down. So. Thank you. <laughs> Period. Thank like you so much. Said. Like I said, yo, I'm just yes. saying. You know what? Get out of here. Listen, no, no, hold up, because I caught wind of my brother Romeo holding me down, so I got to say thank you so much. I'm trying to figure out, was that you, the other one that was talking hey, crazy? You know. Oh, yes, guys. Oh. 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 together. That's what we love. Yeah. You got to know, how was the experience for you? Um, overall, it was an amazing experience. You know, the fact that we were in front of 8.1 million people playing classic records, celebrating women empowerment. That was all really, really dope. You know what I mean? Like I had a conversation with Swiss and he was like, yo, that's like 87,000 football fields of people, you know? So, um, mm -hmm. it was great to just sit up there and go through that nostalgia of music, you know, and, and classic records and just feel good, you know, overall. You know. Okay, well, since you called me out, <laughs> I will I will say that, you know, I publicly said that I thought Keisha Cole was gonna win only because I thought she had a bigger catalog. And look, I'm gonna take the L and I, I'm a man that I've said when I'm wrong, when I'm wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Not only did you win the versus battle, but you won with class. You won with like just being. It was the class for me. It was yeah. the class for me. <laughs> like, you, you didn't let you didn't let any pettiness. You didn't let any attitudes. You didn't let any technical difficulties dim your mm -hmm. light. You got the vibes, ma. You got the vibes, and I everybody, absolutely, everybody fell in love with you after that verse. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, thank you guys. I appreciate it. For sure, I have to know like what was going through your mind when you were out there by yourself for almost an hour waiting for Keisha? Because we all were like, is she not going to show up? Are they going to cancel the verses? Like, what was going through your head? Listen, I had no idea if she was going to come out, if she wasn't. I had been there for like an hour. So we were in the green room, you know, just hanging out or whatever. And I didn't even realize that much time had went by. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess they're having some type of sound. People are going to come in and let me know when it's time to go out. So then I get a call and they're like, yo, what's going on? It's been an hour. An hour? So then I'm like, okay, I gotta go out because if all these people are sitting there watching, this thing that's been postponed, it had been canceled, now it's super late. I'm like, nah, I gotta go out. So I mm. said, we just gonna wing it. I told my DJ, I'm going, let's, let's do something. I'm gonna be the host for the night, you know what I mean? So I think mm. as, in, as a professional and as an artist, you kind of just go into that mode when it's time, when you have to, when it's lights, camera, action, and there's no other alternative. You got to handle your business. So I just sat in the chair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, break in between. Y'all know when I love somebody's vibe, I have to ask, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Libra. Oh. You know what's our <laughs> We're both Libras. I think our birthdays are like two days apart. Crazy. Okay. Wow. But I do want to say, while you were there kind of winging it, you debuted your new single, 235, and now it's climbing yes. to the top charts. I listened yep. to it, baby. I had it on repeat all weekend. Yeah. When I was about hey, that. hey, hey you, baby. <laughs> and you dropped a video last night. Tell us about mm -hmm. the song, how it was working on new material during the pandemic. I want to know it all. So I wrote 235 when I was in LA, and I was actually in a situation with a dude, and I was staying in LA, and he wasn't. <laughs> and we got to the point where it was like, damn, like FaceTime is cool, but I'm trying to see what it do in person. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so, like, when, I, when I went to the studio and I heard the record, I heard the beat, I was like, oh, this makes me feel like a vibe, you know? So I just honestly, I wrote what was on my heart. And um, it just, it feels good. It feels, it puts me in the family of like baby, but 2021 you know what i'm saying mm. and um i just felt like it's time to, to to release something sexy valentine's day is right around the corner and mm. it still knocks you know it still has like you know the the drum pattern so i felt like it was a good record um to put out now you know and in the visual it came together so quick we literally came together in like 24 hours and shot me and jacquel knight so it was it was it was a moment i'm very very happy 
Please tell us we're gonna get an album. Are we gonna get a new album? I'm enjoying Please. this interview, y'all. I was Romeo. I know you have a little something, something that you said. Um, I'm gonna say it for you. Look, I grew up loving Ashanti. Like, I don't even think you know you were my crush. My little Romeo days. It's like you had a, a such an impact on my career and my life, and then just. You were like, I'll be trying, girls would be trying to talk to me and I'd be like, nah, they don't look like Ashanti. I can't talk to her. You know? I <laughs> Period. <laughs> but uh, definitely, I want to give you your roses, you know, and your flowers while you're here because you made Billboard history, you know, having earned Hot 100 entries in each of the last three decades. To add on to that, mm -hmm. you're a boss. You own your own masters. Um, you're truly a living legend. And I just wanted to give you your roses while you're here. Did we lose a shanti? Did I scare yeah, her? And she left. Wait, I was finally <laughs> killed my shot. She made a shanti shot. She made a shot. She was embarrassed. But look, I said Romeo. 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 It's so not right now. It's right, baby, this is though, not your time. Like, no, but it's so important to give her her roses because I think no a lot cap. of people do the comparing game. When Ashanti came out, they want to compare mm -hmm. it to that artist and that artist. Mm -hmm. And I think she had that longevity because she always knew who Ashanti was. And I thought that yeah. was so amazing. And, you know, um, other being my crush back in the day. I think she just makes some of the, the best. Real. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh, there she goes. Oh, we got a bag. Are we yeah. just giving you your roses, girl? Oh my God. <laughs> I can see everybody's like crooked. I don't know what happened. I just went. How many Billboard Awards she had? Only got like, she got like 20 back there. That's oh. crazy. For real. A little too away God. right quick. So, but pretty much nah, where you left it. off, a Romeo. Telling you how much he loves you and how oh, thank you, Romeo. Every time I see you, you you're super classy too. So love right Appreciate back it. for sure. No, for sure. No, I and I love that you're so spiritual. You did a prayer before the show. That's mm -hmm. crazy because I pray Every before show. all my shows too. So and yeah, I love show, that. You know, not to go off topic, but you know, I had a lot of fans hitting me, like, ask her how does she do it? Like all these years, she's so classy, she stays out of the the media, you know, it's no scandals. And I know why that is, because I've lived that life too. You have to be obedient, you know? And I just want to let you know like how amazing you are and that we do see you. I don't think a lot of people get their roses and their flowers while they're here. And we just wanted to give you that. I'm going to tell you a million times how amazing oh, you are. Because I know it's not easy you. in the industry, for real. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate it. And just being a black female, you know, in this very male dominated mm -hmm. industry, it gets really crazy. Like there's some stories that have gone down that y'all would be surprised. You know what I mean? Like it's, mm -hmm. it gets a little nutty, but I'm just grateful. You know, I'm grateful to be here, grateful to get the love and, and to continuously be doing what I'm doing, you know? So I yeah. appreciate that. Well, before I get into my next question, I just want to say that 13 year old me listening to Baby you would have thought, like, you know, I was really in love and getting my heart broken. And, like, you know, this man was not going nowhere because I was in love. Like, please, like, please don't play with me. When baby came on, oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Of, of a lot, oh, of, a lot I love of it. I love it. I mean, like, I was gonna die about this man that I did not have. Like, that's <laughs> what, that's what it was given. But <laughs> next year, <laughs> next year marks the 20 year anniversary of your self titled album that was one of the top selling albums of the year. So, mm -hmm. how do you plan to celebrate it? Um, we're gonna do something very special. Um, just being able to have like made history with my first album and Guinness Book of World Records and Tie the Beatles and you know all that stuff which is awesome I'm just super super humbled that the music has been able to touch people you know what I'm saying so um we're gonna creatively come up with something really dope my mom has footage from like literally when we were sitting in the studio creating Foolish and coming up with the video concept for Foolish and Baby and like all of this, this is the VHS tapes, you know what I mean? Like this is super, <laughs> super throwback. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there's That's so many feel. things, you know, there's so many things and obviously like I'm gonna re-record and like owning your masters. Cause you know, again, the business side of me understood and I understand now that ownership is everything. So it gives me a chance to kind of 
redo stuff with that first album. So I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Real so life. so so once concerts and touring can happen again, are you gonna go back on the road? Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Hey, we were on tour. Um, or obviously, the tour got cut short. Um, we had a whole year that was already booked out. Um, there have been whispers that live performances are supposed to come back like end of March. I don't know how realistic that is. Oh. Maybe summer, fall. I mean, I'm I'm ready to go. You know, as long oh, as you just put safe. us on some new information, so, <laughs> so, we, so we possibly could get an Ashanti tour in March. Is that what you're saying? I'm hoping and praying that towards the end of March, um, because the tickets are still good, you know what I mean? For the people that mm -hmm. bought them last year, they're still good. So we're praying, you know, that that we're on. I'm actually flying out to Canada tomorrow. I'm shooting a film. Gosh. So I won't be back into the country till super end of March. So that's probably gonna have to push a little bit after that, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> just asking nice. my question for me, because we heard you was leaving tomorrow morning to shoot a new movie, but can you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, a little bit. Yeah. The press release is coming, but since y'all cool, I'll tell y'all a little sense. <laughs> um, so it's it's the lead role in a feature with Sony Pictures. Um, what I will say is there is singing, and the character is very similar to my life. I'll say that. I can only use that much. <laughs> Mm. Like, well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, Jamie, Jamie, Jazz, so I got a movie role for Shanti. I'm going to hit her after this. I'm going to reach out to her people. I got a boxing kind of Scarface movie called Monster. So I'm going to be hitting you about that as well. Uh oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, All right, you guys. Well, with that being said, we do have to take a break, but we want to thank Ashanti so much for getting into the mix Yay. with us. Make sure thank that you guys you go guys. download her new single. 235. I already downloaded it. Okay, right after the verses, I had it. Mm. <laughs> and be on the lookout for her new EP later this year. Thank you so much, Ashanti. <laughs> Thank you, Ashanti. Thank you so much. I'm and we'll be back, back, you guys. Keep it, keep it locked. Keep it locked right here on Fox. Oh, Love, Ashanti. Love